Hey guys, and welcome back to You and Me Time. I am super excited because this week I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own CMOS gel at home. For those of you who haven't heard about CMOS, it is essentially a ocean vegetable that is just loaded with health benefits. It contains 92 out of the 102 necessary vitamins and minerals for living your best and healthiest life, but it also supports with immunity, gut health, weight loss, thyroid health, and even things like blood pressure and fertility. So if this is something you're interested in, stay tuned. We're gonna be using this amazing raw Irish sea moss that I got from Donata Skin Food. I'll link it down below, as well as some articles to give you a better understanding of what sea moss is and how it can help. And we're just gonna mix that with some strawberries and alkaline water to create an amazing gel for you to take every day, however you want. So without further ado, let's get to it. Today you're going to need raw Irish sea moss, a blender, alkaline or spring water, and some strawberries. This is what raw Irish sea moss looks like when you get it. It comes dry, condensed, and densely packed together. For a single serving or one jar, you're going to need 0.5 ounces or approximately 14 grams. Now place your sea moss in a bowl and we are going to rinse it with our water. Raw sea moss comes with a lot of salt and impurities, so you want to make sure to give it an extremely good rinse and get everything out. As you scrub it, you're going to notice that the water becomes kind of murky. You want to rinse until your water runs clear. Once it passes the water test, you are going to drain it and cover it again with a generous amount of alkaline or spring water. This is because we are going to put our sea moss aside and it is going to soak it all in. So make sure you give it a generous amount. Now just put it aside for about eight hours or overnight. This is what the sea moss looks like before you let it soak and after a good rinse. And this is the sea moss after hours of soaking. As you can see, it is completely rejuvenated, it has quadrupled in size, and it is ready to be blended. Now make sure your strawberries are diced up, your sea moss is ready to go, and you have separated about one cup of water. If you're like me, you like to add a little bit of lemon juice for flavor as well. Some people don't even add fruits to their sea moss gel. They'll just put a little bit of lemon juice because it takes away some of that salty flavor. But I am a fruity gal and I like having my tropical flavors. So we're gonna combine all of our ingredients together and of course a dash of lemon juice for me. And we're ready to start blending. Once everything is blended thoroughly, we are ready to put it aside in a jar. You want the consistency to be a little bit goopy, but not too dense because it will harden in the fridge. Ideally, once it hardens, we want it to be kind of like a jelly, so you do want it a little bit more on the liquidy side when you're done blending. Now we're going to pour it into a jar and set it aside. Once your jar is filled up, seal that bad boy up and stick him in the fridge. I left mine in the fridge overnight because I did this closer to the end of the day. So the next morning, it was the perfect jelly jello-like consistency. This batch came out so good. It tastes just like strawberry jam. I cannot wait to have it with my breakfast tomorrow. And just like that, we turn this into this. I am a huge fan of sea moss gel. I started seeing benefits almost immediately after taking it. Um, it is a jello or jelly kind of consistency. So if you're not a fan, you might want to use it the way my little sister does, which is in her teas or in her smoothies. That is a great way to incorporate it. 
I honestly just scoop it out of the jar and eat it as is because I like the flavor of strawberries. <laughs> um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you give this a try, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your experience with it and I'll see you next week for some more you and me time. If you have ideas of activities or projects you'd like to see on You and Me Time, then don't forget to drop it in the comments below and hit that subscribe button.